But if one wants to look in historical terms, it seems to me that since the 1950s, Britain has made three major strategic errors. One was in 1956 over the Suez Crisis when Britain with France intervened into Egypt and was forced out, ultimately, by American economic pressure. I think the second great strategic disaster, and I'll be quite blunt about this, I think was the decision taken by Tony Blair with George W. Bush in 2003 to go to war in Iraq. And we're still living with the consequences of that. And I think we would also have to say that if we're thinking historically, then 2016, it may not be quite so disastrous as the Iraq war. It won't be so dramatic. It won't lead to deaths and breakdown, but it will have some very, very long-term consequences. And in that larger historical context, I'd want to suggest that there are going to be some very, very long-term downside consequences. It's going to take the United Kingdom a very great deal of time to, 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 to restore its credibility within the world since 2016. Brexit has also set off a series of tremors within inside the United Kingdom itself. We cannot deny that. Scotland voted against, Northern Ireland voted against, and we've seen in both situations real possibilities, or at least the, possi the outside possibility of the UK moving in a very different direction over the next five to 10 years. And a very senior American said to me yesterday, and I won't say who it was, of course, said to me, well, keep the UK together if you still want the UK to be regarded as a major player in the world. And what we're now seeing with possibly the Scottish referendum, maybe what we're also seeing within Ireland, Northern Ireland, border down to the Irish Sea, may also be a, a forewarning of, of the shape of things to come. So Brexit 216, the June vote, has set off a series of tremors, unintended quite often. People voted for Brexit for the best of possible reasons, I'm sure. But nonetheless, the unintended outcomes of this could be, could be deeply and will be deeply consequential.